From the trailer of the game, I was expecting a nice relaxing drive around a beautiful countryside with my disturbingly expressionless uncle. But what I experienced instead can only be described as hell on earth. It left me wondering what I'd done in life to deserve such torment, but also how far I can push this torment before my uncle snapped and killed both of us. Let's start from the beginning, where it all started to go wrong and experience together how it snowboarded into yet another case of me falling into oblivion. You start your journey waking up to the sound of your alarm and an uncle who apparently enjoys watching you sleep. He is in a hurry to show you something important. This something turns out to be a rundown car, which wasn't exactly going anywhere fast, as it has no door, no engine, and no tyres. So A, he could have let us sleep more, and B, G, thanks uncle, you're the best. I guess. Now the only question in my mind was whether this is an uncle we actually like or one we're forced to spend time with because our parents feel sorry for him. After accepting the fact you're stuck entertaining your uncle, he teaches you that your eyes have the supernatural ability to zoom in when you squint. I can only imagine the headache this would cause as every time you blinked your eyes you would surely zoom in and out. Make. It. Stop. After a quick rundown of the controls, including the ability to duck but not jump, you skillfully climb and flop your way over an obstacle course to retrieve a door for the busted up car. Hmm, let's have a quick look at this car and decide whether or not we want to waste our time actually helping him to fix this up. Well, it looks like a pile of junk. The driver's door doesn't even open. Uh, okay, wait, you can just go through the door. It's, it's pretty cosy in here, it's quite nice in its own sort of way. And the door doesn't open from inside, that's good. Despite the fact the door is literally missing from the passenger side, we appear to be stuck in the car. So I guess our reality now is we sit here until we die of boredom. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to reload the game. Okay, so moving swiftly on and having caught back up in the tutorial, you're taught all kinds of cool stuff about the car and its engine. You're made to put the engine in piece by piece like an adult's Lego set, well aided by the ghost of your grandmother who opens cupboard doors for you. So you're trusted to understand how an engine works, but you're not trusted to open a cupboard door on your own. I see how this game is going to be. Eventually you're left with a car that is no longer naked on the inside. I honestly didn't really pay attention to anything related to the car's engine as cars are about as interesting to me as pushing needles into my eyeballs. And besides, I've been gifted a manual that has all this information in it, which I'll never read anyway. Instead, let's call this manual by its real name, Emergency Toilet Paper. Once you've finished with the exhilarating tutorial, you're ready to begin your grand journey through territories of the former Eastern Bloc whatever the heck that is. Well, no car journey is going to start unless we're inside of it. How difficult can that be? Okay, fairly difficult. I have no idea what is happening other than the fact the car is freaking out. Maybe I can fix it if I try and steer the wheel. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so that's just made things worse. Somehow I've changed the gravity of the entire world. Suddenly up is down and down is up. Nice. Now at least I can pretend to be Spider-Man and climb buildings. I might not be able to jump in this game, but now I can scale walls. Let's see where our Spider-Man abilities take us. Ooh, Berlin. That sounds good. Silly blockade, you're no match for my ability to literally levitate. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect that either. I'm levitating. And we're over the wall okay berlin here i come slowly i'm still coming yeah very slowly almost there and ah, nice it's just a cardboard cutout of berlin might as well be able to make the best of a bad situation and at least be able to tell people i went to the top of the tallest building here okay yep yeah, and now i've fallen off the building okay so we're gonna relog again let's assume this world is destroyed 
So having woken up for the third time in one day and gone through the tutorial all over again, we are really ready to embark on our journey now. No more mistakes. You hear me, uncle? Get in the car and sit down. Okay, yeah. Stop trying to tip the car right. Stop. Oh, gosh. Uh, what? What's going on? Okay, yep. Yeah, now you're levitating. That's fine. That's perfectly normal. I need help someone. Get my uncle a doctor or a priest. He might be possessed. Look, 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 uncle, we can talk about this. If it makes you feel better and stops you levitating, I'm grateful for this car. Yes, I'm very grateful. And I can't wait to spend all my Saturday afternoon driving you around and listening to your stories. I'll even have a mint from your purse. <sighs> Okay, this is a lost cause. He's he's not going to stop. I'm just leaving without him. I mean, is it even needed? Is he really part of the game? Yes, he is. He's talking to me. He's he's talking even though he's not in the car. I'm just going to relog. This is getting too weird. Attempt number two at entering a stationary motor vehicle. Great, I'm seated. Uncle, your turn. Try to get in the car without going all exorcist on me. Oh, nice. You're in as well. See, that wasn't so bad. Let's go for a drive. But, you know, first, safety. Check our mirrors. Yep, they're mirrorless. Seatbelt. Yep, can't interact with it. And now let's check what all these buttons do. So, lights, window wipers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, what's this one? It's flashing lights. Oh, man, it's like a police car. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uncle, can you pass me the keys? Okay, not like that. That's that's weird. Why is your hand all twisted? Okay, you know what? I'm missing the point. We're about to go for a drive. Let's roll it out. Windows down, radio up, and oh, actually, no, turn that off. Well, somebody's been a bit of a grumpy Gus since we left. We haven't been driving for two minutes and you're already complaining. What do you mean, turn the hazards off? Your attitude is a hazard. So, we're on the open road, but the road is isn't the only way we can explore. Look at all the beautiful wilderness surrounding us. Oh, I guess this is what ultimate freedom feels like. And an invisible wall. I guess people did make roads for a reason, and who are we to pretend they're not worth using? Let's try following one. Nice uncle. Keep complaining, see where that gets you. I really feel like our relationship is changing drastically. You're becoming less of an uncle and more of a hostage. Okay, I'm British. Of course I know how to use a roundabout. You drive over the middle. So, while we're driving around, you will quickly come to realize that this place is full of drivers who are all very angry, very impatient, very moustached and have the empathy levels of a serial killer. You will pass road accidents where rather than people getting out to check up on the driver whose roof has disappeared from the crash, they sit in an orderly line and honk their horns angrily. Well, we will be the saviour these angry men have been looking for and we can try to redirect traffic so that they can get around the driver who's probably been crushed to death but somehow managed to keep his foot firmly on the accelerator. Sir, I will need you to stop honking your horn and move over over to the other side. What? Why did the game just make the sound of a crash when I brushed into the car? Does it? Yeah, okay, so it always does it. So I really like to think I'm messing the guy's car up beyond repair, but it's painfully obvious that I'm just angering him further. I mean, look at his face. Let's just push his car over this way. Oh, oh dear. Okay, that's made it worse. So let's cut our losses and try and help this guy out instead. Going a bit better this time. Set my cars in the way. Hold on. Oh, oh, this is unusual. Yeah, I think I might be doing this wrong but I'm not sure. I've never driven before. That's new though. Okay, I've just shot my car at the cars. Okay, well, he's going back into the wild and let's just bring our car back this way and yeah, okay, so it's happened again. Are you... Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know. It's spinning. It's spinning. The whole world is spinning. Oh, I think I'm taking off. Oh, oh gosh. Yep, this is uncomfortable. Okay, I'm just going to flop on top of your car. I'm sure this is helping in some way. I know what you're thinking without you even having to say it. I should have read the manual. All right, well, I think I'm getting the hang of this. No thanks to you. I think I'm rotating on purpose this time. Oh, I think I just hit one of them. Oh, I just rolled over. I wonder what happens if I hit into the rest. You hear that, uncle? That's the sound of progress being made. We're paving the way for the future. This is looking clearer already. Well, our car's parked on top of this man's uh, head and he's just happy. All right, so we'll move you this way. Oh, we're freeing up the cars. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's just, um, he's just driving off with my uncle. Can someone give me a lift? 
Mate, would you mind giving me a lift to my uncle? He's just over that way. Okay, yeah, not like that. I think we've done pretty well. I mean, beside the pile of people there. See, the, the traffic's returning to normal. Sure, they're driving on the same side as each other, but you can't be perfect. <gasps> Uncle, I found you. Oh, if I still had the ability to cry, I'm pretty sure I would be bawling my eyes out right now. Did they hurt you, Uncle? What? Where'd you go? Oh, just land there. Well, after that ordeal, there's obviously a lot we have to talk about. Ah, oh, there's weird little bumps in the road. Like mole hills? Why are there mole hills? Oh, these must be hazards in the game. I mean, I think the biggest hazard is probably me behind a wheel. Handbrake. What do we have here? <gasps> Mystery stuff. Oh, we can open one. Ah, oh, sausages. And they sell for 10 euros or currencies. 10 currencies. I've no idea what the currency is here. Very expensive sausages. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh. Do you need a hand? No, you're right. Okay, good luck. Let's get out again. Oh, excuse me. Just wait. Yeah, I said wait. You can wait a second. Mate, not only could you wait, but have a look at this. There's two lanes there and they're both empty. So you seem incapable of making decisions for yourself. Let me make one for you. You are going to go around like a good boy. Yep, perfect. Get in. Uncle, uncle, we have to go. Yeah, yeah, have mercy. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Let's get out of here. Tank still? Ah, it's a garage. Mate, let's go visit the tank still. Tank stilly. Tank stella. You know, whatever. Our first garage. Let's just pull up to the door. Perfect. Bear with me, uncle. I'll be back in a second. Let's sell this person some goods. Hello, madam. I have some sausages here for you. I'll sell the wheel. Oh, we could sell the tires. Oh, do I just give her my money to get paid? Put it in the wallet for me. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, I'm just going outside with it for one second. Hold on. Just, don't worry. What does this sign say? Please return all unpaid goods before attempting to leave the area. Stealing will not be tolerated. Well, let's see about that. I'm going to steal this. If you have anything to say, say it now. I don't know much about this world that I've been forcefully thrown into, but what I do know is I'm not going to pay for any of these goods. To get around the extortionate price of gas, we will park our car at the entrance gate, go inside and get the jack, a few tyres. So as you can see, the gate has attempted to close, but the car has stopped it. Now we'll just lift the car up with the jack we didn't pay for, change the tyres with the brand new wheels we didn't pay for, leave our old ones on the floor, because after all, this place is a service station and cleaning up is a service and now that we've broken the gate we can go ahead and pull up to the pump and fill the car up without the risk of being locked in then use their oil to top up we have serviced our car without spending a penny ah to steal nature's way of saying don't pay for it i honestly do not condone stealing in any way shape or form if you are a thief you are a silly person and should be made an example of after the filming of this video i returned to the gas station prepared their fence and paid for my goods can't tell if you approve of what i've just done or if you're just kind of dead inside Oh, another road accident. Hold on a minute. I recognise this road accident. We caused it. Let's head back the other way. Cars starting to smoke, but I think that's kind of normal for cars. We've got to be getting close to somewhere now, unless I'm going in circles. I know that this is kind of the majority of the game, driving around in wildernesses, looking at factories and trees. Oh, that's a lot of smoke coming out of whatever that is. Is it a forest fire? Oh. <gasps> How did that even happen? Ah, oh, it's because everything's broken. Looks like I'm pushing the car to the next place. You could get out and help if you want to. Look, I'll even open your door for you. Come on, come on. Get out the car and push. Oh, this is going to be a long walk unless... This kind of beats pushing. No! No! <gasps> Why did you just do that? That's completely the wrong way. That was your doing, wasn't it, Uncle? What the hell is happening? Okay, well, it's back to where it was at least. 
I just now need to start pushing it again from here. Well, pushing, walking inside it, head towards the smoke. That much smoke, something good has to be happening. We wouldn't have had to resort to this if you just got out of the car and helped push it. But no, Uncle doesn't want to get wet. Oh, yeah, okay, it's heading in the right way at least. <gasps> they are buildings. No! Oh! 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 Alright, you get out of the way. You're not messing this up for me. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant by get out of the way. Um, how do I get to the door? Okay, just... Well, oh, what the... Oh. I don't know in what reality I thought that would end well. Do you remember how I said you can't jump? So, how does one get over this to their car? Guess one doesn't fling their car over the fence to begin with but it's happened. Do you know what, Uncle? I might have to send for you tomorrow. Ah, oh, but you've got my money. Oh. Look, I'm as unhappy as you are about this situation. Oh yeah, showing off. Showing off in your car. Go get my uncle. Rescue my uncle. Stop pushing me. Because if I just push you kind of there. No, okay. No. Mate. Yeah, okay, we've lost him. I can't believe this, because the town is here. Could they not just put a jump button in the game? Would it make my life a little bit easier? Is it a difficult thing? Okay, our last hope is waiting for a car to come, and then we try and push it so that it hits our uncle, and then maybe we can get our wallet. Okay, there's a car coming. Oh yeah, of course. You were literally in the other lane, and then what? You decide you want to be in this lane because you see a car flipped up on its side. Nice. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, he's going quick. Oh. <laughs> what the? F oh man, I pissed him off. Okay. Aim. 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 Go. Go. No. Oh, I need you. No. Don't. Don't just go off into the wilderness. Ah. Oh, bye kind of curious where that really mental guy went then we should have a look for him oh oh it's not ended well for him i'm afraid well, i'm sure he'll be fine bear with me while i reload the game yet again so after a quick repair of the car which involved replacing every item i found that there was some trash in the back of my car which apparently has been left by someone and i kind of have a hunch i know who so i raced over to the nearest garage i took the trash in and returned it Oh, you don't know who you're messing with, sister. I am a local guide on Google Maps, and I will be leaving you the worst review ever. Whatever. After that heated debate, I arrived in the town and stopped in the motel. Okay, we've paid for our room, which I'm not particularly happy about having to do. First, let's let our uncle into the room so he can get some shut-eye. Psych, I'm not letting you in. No, really, you can go in. Double psych, I'm not letting you in. Okay, you can go in. No, not really. I kind of have the impression I may have upset him a little bit. <laughs> His anguish only became more apparent as we were alone in the bedroom, and he went straight to sleep without saying goodnight. So I decided to climb on top of him and have a look into his briefcase, which magically opened as he laid down. <gasps> Oh, there's some fabric in here, and it's the same as his jacket. I hope he's not planning on making me one. I better check his notes. Maybe there's some clue as to his real reason for coming along on this trip. <gasps> he's been measuring me while I was asleep. I imagine that's what this says. I can't read those, so who knows? Uncle, not only am I on to you, but I'm quite literally on you, and that is how I'm going to sleep. Ah, my uncle put me in my own bed. So let's come bother the neighbours. What? Hold on. They've just left money under their door. What if I reset the game? Go back in time so I'm back in my room. Knock again. Yep, okay, so they keep putting money under the door. Bear with me a minute. I know I did that whole bit earlier about stealing being wrong, but I'm a very weak person and I kind of figured that because I wasn't stealing a lot of money from one person and instead I was stealing just a little bit of money from a lot of people, it wasn't so bad. So I took my new earnings and I stocked up on the essentials for travel. Really? Could you not just take the basket? Oh, this is going to be annoying. One, two, 
three. Having finally put all the stuff back in my basket, I decided to steal the basket as they apparently weren't using them anyway. Let's have a look at what's on their list of banned goods. Ah, tobacco. And something gives me the impression they're pretty serious about this rule. I wonder if there's some super sneaky way we can get this past the guards without them finding us. Maybe leaving it right in front of them and then realizing the car's broken down and yep okay this is happening again uh yeah papers yeah i understand i'll give them to you in a minute did you just lock my door hold on here take the papers there you go our definition of in order seems to differ completely okay i can't get back in my car you've literally blocked the door let me just reverse this so i can get it uh well this is embarrassing this doesn't normally happen uh yeah well that does okay the car's on fire or smoking again and uh this is happening isn't it like a simple border passing and i can't even do that right okay just move that out the way the car seems to be in a bit of trouble and my uncle's leaking um yeah this this isn't how this should be going i'm not sure how to get the car down okay there we go so i'll just reverse it out of here i'm really sorry about this i've just run over your feet and no, okay now i've trapped you do you know what all this stuff is on fire anyway i don't think we need it anymore so i'll just empty it out well the car's a bit lighter now somewhat easier to push um still struggling to get it out um there we go it's off so we'll just take the earnings we've got from the motel robbery and we'll go buy ourselves some new parts once i restore the gravity of the world for a second time and we'll just park it up outside i'm sure it'll be safe just go inside and we'll buy a few pieces with the new upgrades installed i feel like the car finally represents me as a person from an outsider's perspective it's functional but barely but on the inside it's still a pile of crap just waiting to break down again I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but I can't see a thing. Ah, there's a broken down car here. I'm sure some poor person is uh, making their way to the garage and people have just been robbing them of all their stuff, so we'll join them. Ah, oh, nice. A new paint job for the car and some parts that I don't really understand where they belong. Ah, uh, we'll take the tyres, why not? We need tyres. Tyres are always good. We'll just put them in the boot. Maybe this one can come in the car with me? Yeah, this, this is... Well, the drive has been pretty uneventful, but we've finally made it to the next town. My uncle has been a bit quiet. He just complains every now and again. I think he's still upset about the thievery. Either that or sleeping on him last night crossed a barrier that we can never go back across. Uncle, is everything okay? Look, if it makes you feel better, I'll repark the car. See, I'm not over the lines. It's perfect now. Are you going to stop being a sourpuss and come inside? Uncle, are you alive? Um, okay, I might have killed my uncle. Um, I'm not sure really what to do at this point. I don't really want to go across the border with a dead body in my car could we find somewhere to hide him i know it's a bit bad but i don't really want to be in trouble over this uh what's about over near these trees here we can just leave his oh okay yeah well he's not going to be found here and neither will i probably oh the sun oh there's the moon so the moon and the sun are revolving around us um yep that's space somehow we're in space this is this is fine ah, okay it's not so fine anymore at this point i think we better reference the manual oops i've just turned the radio on okay and i can't turn it back off so we're stuck listening to this music for all of eternity ah this is going to be a long fall oh you are alive now i just feel silly 